What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to Helldivers 2. Today, I want to give a super beginner basic tutorial on the game and uh, getting things figured out. For these, these are the absolute beginner tips. If you're not a beginner, this isn't the video for you. I guarantee you know all this stuff. But if you're a beginner to the game and you're trying to find your way, you're stumbling around trying to get everything figured out, I want to help you because who, who to better learn it from than a beginner? I'm only level 13, but there's a lot of things the game doesn't tell you, doesn't do a very good job explaining that I want to explain to you. And hopefully, these tips will help you. Hopefully, your transition into Helldivers 2 will be easy and brief and fun and you will have an absolutely fantastic time. So first thing we're going to talk about, because this is the thing that everybody always wonders, is where do you get your new guns and armor and weapons? Like, where do you get all the new stuff, right? So at first you have your armory right here, which is where I came over and I was like, okay, cool. So this is where I get my stuff, right? Primary, I should be able to select different things. Yes and no. So in order to get anything here to select, you're actually going to have to go into your acquisition. So for me, you can see at the top of the screen, it says acquisitions is R. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit R and that is going to bring up this acquisition center. Now this can be confusing if you've never played a game with this style of unlocks. Now, um, a lot of games where you just play along, you, uh, you hit certain levels, you unlock things. This, this game, what you do is you earn these things called uh, war bonds or medals <laughs> right here. They're, they're going to they're gonna be these guys. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into this first one and you're going to see a few pages. There's page one, there's page two, page, you know, 10 pages right here. And it's a little confusing at first, a little jarring, you know, um, and that's why I want to make this video. But essentially what you do is as you play the game, you're going to earn these. And as you can see, different things have a different cost requirement. Um, and then also in order to get from one page to the other, so page one, say I wanted to get to, like, I'm trying to get to this page right here. I have to spend two more medals above this in order to unlock this page so um when you're looking for new armor new weapons things like that this is where you're going to be looking now there's a lot of um uh there's a lot of like extras in here so like this is actually an armor suit infiltrator you can also hit tab for me it's tab whatever this uh, whatever it says right down in here for you you can hit tab and that will actually give you a uh, a little bit better of a breakdown so armor rating speed stamina if it has any passive abilities uh, you can learn those and then also you can hover over this and um yeah, it just tells you basically information about it. Now, um, there's your grenades, there's your weapons, there's your, you know, your armor. Um, your helmets have different, possibly different abilities. Now, at the time of recording this, I do believe that the armors are still kind of bugged right now, where, like, the, the I believe the stats aren't being affected or something. Something's going on with the with the armor. Just pick which one you like for now. Um, don't worry if you're super early into the game. Just pick whichever one you want, honestly, uh, because it's, you know, it's it makes a little bit of a difference later game. Um, I feel like because like I'm only, I'm only level 13, like I said, I'm not a late game person, but later game I have noticed that, hey, you know what, having this little park or whatever was pretty nice. Now, there's other things in this war bond. Um, there's this right here, which is super credits. So you can actually spend um, your war bonds to get super credits, which is the premium currency in this game. Um, but let's go ahead and let's continue on. So let's say I wanted to unlock, I'm gonna unlock this because it's it's two credits. I need to actually, you know, what? I'm gonna unlock this super credits right here. Why not? So to unlock it, as you can see, I click on it and then I have to come over here and I have to press and hold. So my I made the mistake before of trying to um of trying to get the uh like trying to get an item, right? Uh let's go ahead and grab what do we want out of here? What do we have? We have an impact grenade. We've got a 50% chance of not dive and taking lethal damage. Hey, you know what? That's actually the um pretty sure that's the armor that I have right now. It's actually it's actually a good armor set. Um I actually want this helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that helmet. So um, but yeah, I was trying to unlock stuff. I was just clicking on it and I was like, okay, press and hold. Like, how do I do this? You have to come over here and you actually have to press and hold to claim the item. Now, uh, when you buy an item, it will ask you if you want to equip it. You can equip it or you can equip it later, which I'll go into in a second. Um, now, the other thing, this is a premium war bond. So if you buy a premium version or if you pay the upgrade cost to become a, um, a super citizen or whatever, uh, if you, it's, it's a paid thing. It's all money. It's all basically that stuff. Um, that's where you're going to find this stuff. And this stuff's going to cost more stuff. Um, it's going to be the ba basically exactly the same progression system. Now, these weapons, to what I know, because I haven't played with a lot of them, like I said, I'm a beginner. Beginner guide, beginner tutorial here. These basic, these weapons right here are basically, they're similar to the weapons that you get for free, except they have like little corks with them. So this one is like the um, the regular Liberator gun that you start off the game with, except, except it's concussive, so it has a chance to like stagger enemies. Um, then you have the breaker right here that's incendiary. So it's basically like the breaker, except I think it does a little bit less damage, but then it also ignites them on fire. So it's like you kind of trade a little bit of here, a little bit of there for like something a little bit more interesting, I guess you could say. 
So uh, that's how you get your weapons and your uh, your armors and stuff like that. Now, let's say I want to go and put those on, and that is where the armory is going to come into play. So here's your armory. So here you have, you know, your primaries, your secondaries, your gadgets, your grenades, whatever, what have you. Um, as far as primary goes, I'll, I'll recommend some weapons and some things at the end of the video that I've been using when, once I hit level five. Um, hitting level five is crucial. So basically what I would do, the recommendation is play the game until you hit level five. Don't buy anything. Don't purchase anything. Don't upgrade anything until you hit level five. Level five is where things become available to, to do stuff. Um, get to that point first. And then I'll tell you what we should get. So um, this is where you, uh, you know, you can you can mess with this stuff here. And then also if we go into armor, we can adjust our armor. So like, let's say I don't like this headpiece. I want to use this one now so I can equip that. And uh, yeah, so now I look fancy there. I have a fancy cape, whatever um, character. You can, you can use some customizations and stuff like that in here. You can have different boosters, which give you... Um, Different abilities in game. So vitality enhancement allows all hell divers to resist injury. Uh, hell pod space optimization. Hell divers come out of the hell pod fully stocked on ammo, grenades, and stims. Now these stack with your team. Well, they don't stack with your teammates, but they affect your teammates. So if somebody else on your team has a hell pod space optimization, it won't let you place that one. It, you have to play a different one. So keep that in mind. These are unlocked in the same place as the uh, ammo and the the as the in the same place as the weapons and and. Um, armor gosh why was that so hard um and then you also have your career stuff over here which is pretty neat so um that's how you unlock your weapons your armor that's how you equip it right there now you're gonna see something back here this back here i didn't even know this was back here this is a very important place this is actually where you unlock your stratagems so as you can see you can go into stratagems here um, and then these are stratagems that you can unlock or you can't if you're not a high enough level um, so this is where you're going to come in and i have some recommendations on these as well because like i said for as a beginner what did i prioritize and what worked really good for me versus what didn't um so yeah we have those there and then we have ship module so stratagems here anything you call in um as far as like support weapons things like that those are going to be in here uh if you hear people talking about some weapons that you might not see in the warbond like a lot of people talk about the grenade launcher the grenade launcher is a support weapon so you can see right here this is the grenade launcher you have to call it in um you'll hear people talk about guard dog rover uh laser cans whatever those are uh, those are items that you call in those are like bigger weapons that they have to you know you have a cooldown and all that fun stuff so that is all fine and dandy now Let's also talk about ship modules uh, briefly, because like I said, I don't have very many of them. I only have one. These require the um, you're going to find like uh, these 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 resources while you're on planet. You're going to find common rare and like super rare or something like that. Um, you're going to find these different common samples. And when you leave and you get back, you're going to start accruing them. Well, this is where you're going to spend those. So for me, I did this first robotics workshop here, dynamic tracking, reduced deployment time for all century stratagems. And then um, I want to work because I'm working towards high quality lubricant and uh, the shark absorption gel, mainly this one. This one's a huge one. Uh, but basically what you have to do is you have to unlock the first one before you can unlock the next one in whatever tier. So this tier right here is the one that I wanna work on. So I wanna get shock absorption gel next. So these are the items that I need to have in order to unlock this. And the reason I wanna unlock this, increase all increases ammo for all sentry stratagems by 50%. So when you call down a sentry weapon and it sits there and shooting stuff for you, it has 50% more ammo. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, fantastic, right? It sounds like a good time. That's where you spend those. Now, um, let's, you know what? Actually, whilst we're in here, let's actually, so let's go ahead and let's talk about the other stuff in here. Now you're gonna notice uh, a friendly comment has joined my squad. Uh, so I wanna talk about a couple other things in here. So at the top here, you're gonna notice a few things. There's there's a couple things. There's um there's uh like money, essentially, the 26,446 are, that's like your money. You have your, uh, your war bonds or your medals right here, and then you have your samples here. Um, and then you have super credits here. So each of these items is used to unlock different things, like I've mentioned before. So your war bonds are used to, like I said, unlock your, um, your weapons and your ammo. Uh, the super credits, which I didn't touch on yet, are gonna be used in the super store. And that is where these are. These are your premium credits. Now you can buy these if you want to. However, you get them pretty decently in the game, which is which is actually pretty cool, surprisingly. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so you do, uh, like, let's see, what is this one? Um, a light gunner provides higher damage rating. That's actually pretty good. Once once there's like, you know, good armor and stuff like that, that's actually pretty, uh, pretty decent one. Um, and then we have like a heavy armor, increased throwing range by 30%, provides 50% limb health. That's pretty good too. And that's a dreadnought. That's kind of cool too. So 
I might have to pick those up. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that's where you spend that currency. And then, like I said before, the other currency is spent on, in here. So your stratagems are used just, just money. So if I want to unlock this guy, the price is right here at 6,000. So that's where you use your money. And then this is where you use your samples. So every, there's a lot of different currency systems and there's a lot of different places to use your currency systems, if that makes sense. It's like I said, it's very confusing in the beginning and it doesn't do a super great job of explaining it all. But let's go ahead. Let's say you hit level five. If you waited, you didn't buy anything, you hit level five. What would I recommend? All right, so let's start off with the stratagems because we're right here since we're right here. Anyways, uh, the first thing that I would recommend 100% of the time is the uh let's go i'm gonna go in order of what i think is probably most important at least important the grenade launcher the grenade launcher i believe you'll unlock at level five it's absolutely insane it is fantastic you're gonna absolutely love it go ahead get that bad boy get that unlocked if you don't already have it unlocked maybe you can unlock it a little bit earlier i can't remember for sure um that thing is fantastic um after that i wouldn't recommend anything else in here until you get to level 10 and then get the guard dog rover do not get guard dog because as you can see, this one shoots, uh, it shoots like bullets. Um, yeah, no, you don't want that one. You want the guard dog Rover. It shoots a laser. Laser is way better. So um, basically in this category, I would go from grenade launcher to guard dog Rover. And then from there, you'll have a decent understanding of what all these other ones do by playing with other people that you'll understand like what you want kind of. Now uh, I'm gonna start at the top now because, uh, but I'm saying the, the best one I think is the grenade launcher in that. Um, as far as these go, the machine guns, what you're gonna start off with, use it, have fun with it. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, if you wanna get the flamethrower later on, you can, they actually just buffed it quite a bit. But um, as far as this category goes, I don't play with this category a whole lot. Orbital cannons, I don't play a, a, a two ton with either, but the orbital airburst strike is a uh, a better, is, that's, that's a better version of your orbital. So um, I believe that's level five as well. If it's not earlier, if it's earlier, congratulations, get that. This one is super useful. It does like a, a, a shotgun attack down on the, uh, on the, on the area. And it's, it's just super nice. Um, and then my, personal favorite out of these the hanger is actually the eagle airstrike which is a very early game one as well like i said it's either level five or before and i've played with some level 30 level 40 level 50 people that are still using this stratagem because it is it is that good it is a really good stratagem now what's nice about it is it has two uses so you when uh when you when you you, you use it you throw it out it has a a 15 second cooldown between the second use you can use it again and then from the second use i believe it's like a two minute cooldown or two and a half minute cooldown don't quote me on that i'm not 100 percent sure it's a really good strategy to use so that is that is an absolute go-to the eagle airstrike um and then once we have other th we have other stuff above that but like i said i haven't really honestly played with any of those because i just th this one is fantastic it does everything i needed to um and then uh, let's see what else we have um let's see as far as the bridge goes or orb orbital precision strike this stuff i don't really use any of this stuff right now either um uh, because in the early game i don't feel like you're gonna need it and then like i said grenade launcher guard dog is fantastic and then this is one that i believe you can get pretty close to right off the bat if not before level five get the gatling sentry not the machine gun sentry the gatling sentry this one just rains bullets down on your enemies and even at its basic level even if even if you don't have any upgrades on it it does it does a really good job it does seem to run out of ammo pretty quick and you want to be careful because a charger or somebody they come over here and destroy this thing almost immediately it's um it's it's pretty squishy it's pretty it's pretty squishy indeed but yeah the uh the gatling sentry highly recommended if you're level five level 10 whatever hit that um the mortar sentry is really good it's also really good at taking out your teammates so um if you have a mortar sentry out let everybody know that you have a mortar sentry out because if it's gonna target onto a group of enemies and you have friends right in this area well guess what they're gonna get destroyed as well but that's half the fun of the game isn't it so um but gatling sentry that is the century that I recommend. So if you are level five, what would I recommend? Okay, level five, I recommend getting yourself the Eagle Airstrike, getting yourself the Orbital Airburst Strike, and the uh, Grenade Launcher, and the Gatling Sentry. Those ones, those items right there, I believe once you hit level five, those items are going to completely change the feel of the game for you. You're going to feel more powerful. You're going to feel like you can handle yourself better. Um, you're going to feel like you're more supportive to the team. You're going to feel like you're able to do more things. Um, as far as ship modules go, just get what you want as you can. Um, they're kind of expensive and they're kind of like, they're kind of time consuming to get. So um, there's that. Now, as far as weapons go, let's talk about the weapons here. So let's go into our war bond here. 
and let's go in here so in the beginning um in the beginning we have we have a couple pages that you have to get through you just have to get through them um uh, because the first weapon that i'm going to recommend is actually on page three this little guy right here so this smg or uh, actually no 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 no. first weapon i'm going to recommend because you're going to have to go through it to get there sorry let me retract back here a little bit uh, is actually this redeemer this this little uzi pistol guy um, this is going to be your replacement secondary. This one's way better than just the hand, the standard pistol. So, um, once you can get to that guy, cool, go for that. But ultimately what you're really going for here, in my opinion, is this breaker. Now this breaker did recently get nerfed a little bit. Um, they took three rounds out of the, uh, the magazine and I believe they changed, uh, I believe they changed or adjusted the penetration or something like that a little bit. <laughs> penetration. <laughs> oh, it a little bit. Um, so this gun it's still fantastic though it's still a really good gun it's still a go-to gun for a lot of people until you get to higher levels um so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to page four and you're want to get to this now i know it's going to seem like it takes a while um because like oh my gosh all these medals and it's going to say like like if i want to get to the next one right i have to spend 89 more medals to unlock this page which is a lot but it's not a lot and i'll tell you why um afterwards too um, so you're going to be going for the breaker. The breaker is going to be something you want to get uh, immediately. However, the things that are going to help you on the way, because you're going to have to spend points there regardless, is go ahead and pick up the defender. The defender is a little fun gun to play with until you get the breaker. Um, I would actually recommend this until you get this gun. Um, and then also make sure you pick up your your um, your boosters, your help pod, space optimization. Pick up your free super credits. Absolutely, get your um, get your little mini Uzi. Get your uh, credits here. If you want to pick up the other weapons, you absolutely can and play with them and see if maybe there's something else you like too. Um, but the breaker is gonna be, you're gonna start, you're gonna really like the breaker. You're gonna have a really good time with the breaker. So um, now, as far as getting these additional credits, if we go into the map over here and say we wanna do a mission, right? There's gonna be, there's a daily, um, there's a daily personal order that, as you can see, uh, right, oh, well, okay, off to the uh, right-hand side of the screen, kill 40 enemies using an anti-personnel minefield. That's gonna give you an extra 15 medals. Now, I don't have an anti-personnel minefield yet, so I'm gonna have to decide whether I wanna spend the money to unlock it. If I unlock it, then it might be worth it and i probably will because honestly it seems like money is easy to get to get the unlock so um, i probably will go ahead unlock that and try to get that but pay attention to that you just have to go into the map um once you go to the map you'll see those over there now if there's any major orders which is the one up right above that those are going to be like defend this planet for this long or take over this place or something like that so um those are going to be how you get additional medals as well so make sure you're getting those medals doing your things doing yourself having a good time um but that i think basically i think that i think that covers most of most of absolutely everything now there is also if you want to get a little bit more nitty-gritty there is a plugin that if you have if you have a stream deck if you have an elgato stream deck if you don't i have a link down i'll have a link down below if you don't have an elgato stream deck i have a link down below if you want to check one out <laughs> it is an affiliate link so um if you don't have an elgato stream deck you can check one out there but there's a plugin that you can get from free from the elgato site that puts all of these stratagems and stuff like that on a uh, on it on like a hotkey essentially and you just basically tap one button because if you don't know the stratagems are basically this right here uh where you have to put in different arrows uh different arrow codes and uh be able to you know put them in quickly while you're on the battlefield so if you don't want to do things like this um then i recommend a stream deck and getting that thing on there so it's pretty cool i mean stream decks are great for everything but um it's fun hey you know had to, had to do a shameless little plug there but yeah i think that covers basically everything that i wanted to talk about because like those are things that i was super confused about in the beginning also you know what? i will touch on this one last thing because this is dependent upon your when you're watching the video if you're watching it right when it came out if you see on the bottom right hand corner of my screen there is z which pulls up uh, basically an information about what's going on in the world um and then c which is an effect so right now everybody can use a patriot exosuit for uh one per game and they're like basically testing it out but it is a stratagem now that is unlocked at level 25. So if we go into here and we go stratagems, basically all the way to the bottom list, uh, Patriot Exosuit right there. <laughs> it is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's a good time. All right, so now I'm gonna, one last, the, the last thing we're gonna talk about is I'm actually gonna hop into a game. We're gonna talk about uh, navigating the field, navigating the map and figuring out like what's going on uh, with like what's, what's going on here. Uh, you know what, actually, let's just hop into a quick play. Let's see if we can find somebody. Okay, so uh, we, uh, we found a game now. 
Let's talk about applying your strategies because I see a lot of people going empty. Make sure that when you're on the screen, you actually go in here and select what you what you want. So I want this guy, this guy, this guy, and I want this guy. So we've got those, and then I also wanna go ahead and use a booster. They don't have any of those, so I'm gonna use that one. But make sure you apply what you have and then ready up. I've seen a lot of people, like I said, go, <laughs> going naked essentially, not prepared, not ready to go. And it's just a beginner thing because you don't know what you're doing. You don't. You, it doesn't do a good job of telling you that. So make sure you apply your, uh, your stratagems. And then once we get playing inside, I'm going to talk about you navigating the map, looking at what you're supposed to be doing and knowing what, like knowing how to do, how you're doing, what you're doing, uh, and trying to figure out like why people are going certain places because you're going to be like, why are we going over here? Why are we doing this? I don't understand. What's going on here? I want to tell you what's going on here. All right. We are playing inside. Oh, it feels good. It's exciting. All right. So let's see, let's go ahead and hop in and grab our stuff and get our new goodies. So if you have support items like your machine gun, or whatever, make sure you just call those right away. Get that cooldown going. That way you have it ready to go. Uh, so let's see, let's grab our grenade launcher. We're gonna grab our Rover guard dog as well. Now, as far as the mini map goes, so our mission right now is to upload data via local relay, collect a cryptic hard drive. So basically what we got going on here is if I zoom out, we need to collect the hard drive from right here and we need to deliver it to this area that is the main mission however there are side missions any red spots those are nests the bigger the spot the the harder the nest is um we want to take those out as well because those are all bonuses and then there's other little things as well this is extraction zone and then there's also this terminate or illegal broadcast we could take that tower out that's another bonus side mission so lots of little things going on here but let's go ahead let's uh let's go actually help our team out here and let's take out a nest shall we <laughs> okay so we're not playing with the terminates we're playing automatons i for some reason i thought we were playing terminates <laughs> we're definitely not so a nice little fun fact, if you die, you can actually find your stuff on the map. Uh, if you go back to where you were, it should all be right here. Uh, so there's my grenade launcher back and there's my guard dog. So that way, if you have an item that you are on cooldown, you can go ahead and pick those back up. Also, if you die or if you see somebody die, make sure you grab their core samples if they have any, because those are you need to bring those back with you to the um, to the ship in order to get those. So if you see them on the ground, pick them up for your teammates. It doesn't matter who has them. Everybody, sh they, they're shared anyways. All right, and then after a successful mission, uh, you go ahead and get all your goodies. <laughs> oh, it's always such a good time. Now, every mission, depending on what you do, depends on how much XP and uh, how many reward points you get and how many things you complete depends on it. Also, um, how many people extract complete, you know, depends on your, your points and stuff like that. So uh, it seems like on average, you usually get like, um, you get a couple medals, which it seems like medals are like the, you know, the thing that you're going after in the early game anyway. So uh yeah pretty exciting stuff but that is gonna end this this video if it helped you leave a comment down below let me know uh hopefully it did this is like i guess super beginner stuff because i didn't know a lot of the stuff when i started and i was like super lost but uh, figured it out along the way so thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one bye everybody